Hey Facebook, what's up? It's Friday, so you guys know I had to hop on and chat with all of you. Well, Facebook Live Friday, we're gonna start the weekend off right, and how are we gonna do that? We are going to talk about what is new on Amazon. So it has been a crazy week, guys, just with Amazon in general. We have so many things in the works for you guys. Just here at Turnkey, we have things in the works, but also just Amazon. They've got tons of things going on that we're really excited to bring to you guys, to loop you guys in on. And of course, we're going to be talking about it more on our following Facebook Lives, right? So let's go ahead and jump into this week's topic. So this week's topic is brand analytics, but more so we want to focus on one particular tool within brand analytics, and that is market basket analysis, right? So brand analytics as a whole, right? Um, you know, it's used to learn about your customer, to learn about their purchasing behavior, to find out about the demographics that you're selling to most, right? So this is something that has really never been available to Amazon sellers. So it honestly is a really exciting time. So if you are brand registered, you should be going into brand analytics as soon as possible. Like as soon as we get off this Facebook live, you should be going into it. Now, why am I focusing on market basket analysis, right? So market basket analysis was added to brand analytics, um, and it's actually very similar to the item comparison tool. So what are the differences? So what's really great about market basket analysis is market basket analysis is going to show you what products are being purchased with your product right? So you can learn so much from that information. Now, in comparison, we have the item comparison one, um, which will show you what is being viewed with your products. Now, we feel like the market basket analysis tool is a little bit stronger, and the reason is people are actually purchasing, right? You're seeing them actually purchase your product with this product in particular, right? So why is this important? Now, it's the same reason why just brand analytics in general is important. You can learn just so much about your customer's purchasing behavior. Behavior and and what they're purchasing when they're purchasing why they're purchasing you can learn so much from it right so here's a few things I want you guys to consider once you go and check this out so you're gonna head to brand analytics you're gonna go to market basket analysis and I want you to consider a few things right it's going to show you the three products that are most frequently purchased with yours and you're gonna be able to think of a few things here so what's really great is you can think of cross-selling promotional opportunities. So if you are one of the lucky ones and you have multiple products that are being purchased together pretty often, it's time to focus on cross-selling, right? And what I mean by that is maybe create a promotion that involves those products together, right? Because you're seeing that as a purchasing behavior. You're seeing that multiple people purchase it that way. So why not create a cross-selling opportunity that influences more people to purchase those products together, right? And then another thing you can think about cross-selling wise is you can feature those products within each other's listing in a few places, right? So you can feature them in the image blocks, right? So in lifestyle images, you can have those products featured together. Um, you can have an infographic that compares the products together or compares them matching well together. Um, there's a bunch of different things you can do in the image blocks and just understanding that you have a lot of customers that are purchasing those products together, so why not show both off on those listings, right? And another place you can feature the cross-selling opportunity is in the enhanced brand content. Now, in the enhanced brand content, they are able to have, a, you are able to have a tile now where you can talk about all your products, your whole product line really, um, and you can create a graph where you answer different questions about different products and what they have to offer. Um, really cool opportunity. So that's the first thing I want you to think about is if you're one of the lucky ones and your products are all featured there together, that's amazing. Think about how you could influence that even more. Think about how you can encourage other customers to do that exact customer purchasing behavior, right? So try to influence those cross-selling opportunities because those pay off big time, right? Now another thing I want you guys to consider is product improvements, right? So if you're seeing that a customer is purchasing your product maybe with a competitor's product, that's the exact same thing, you know, you can kind of get a feel that maybe they're buying both and returning one, right? Maybe they're just having options for themselves. If you are noticing that, 
I want you to look at that product that is being purchased with yours and think, how can I improve my product? How can I improve my listing? How can I make sure that I am beating this competitor, right? Super, super important. And we'll talk about a competitor analysis in a little bit. But I do want you guys to take a look at that and think, how can I make my product better than this product based on just the fact that people are purchasing them together. And, and really who knows why they're purchasing the two of the same product. It most likely is that they are comparing the two. So it is very important that you make sure you are beating that competitor. Now the next thing I want to talk about is product development, right? So let's say you are selling a product and you are seeing that consistently that customers are buying a certain product with your product, right? So one really great thing about this is maybe you never thought to develop that product. Maybe you never realized that people that are purchasing your product are also purchasing this type of product. One really great example that I actually saw in one of our clients market basket analysis was that someone was buying their product in a hand cream. And what's really interesting about that is you wouldn't necessarily think to put the two together, but after seeing that purchasing behavior, and we saw it multiple ways because they have different variations with it, you're able to see that actually does make sense. That is something that they could provide to their customers, right? So you can use this information to really develop your catalog, really expand on the products that you are currently offering to your customers, right? Because if they're already purchasing from you, why not build off of that brand loyalty, right? Why not get them to purchase another product? So if you're in a position where you want to expand on your catalog, you want to add more to that, that's awesome head to market basket analysis first to see if there is different purchasing behaviors that could help you determine that next product that you want to do. Now, another thing I want to talk about is Amazon's SBAs, right? Sponsored brand ads. If you are seeing that your product is being purchased with another product pretty consistently, why not take it to the next level and run an SBA on that particular product, right? Because if people are already doing that, if they're already purchasing those products together, you might as well capitalize on the opportunity and run an ad on that listing that is also being purchased with your product, right? Take advantage of that opportunity. These are things that not everybody is doing, so it is crucial that you are taking time to examine these things. You are taking time to expand on what this might mean, what you can do to improve your brand, improve your product, and of course, just improve your Amazon business in general. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is competitor analysis, and this is something that I have talked to you guys about before. It's something we talk about with our roundtable members, something we talk about with our inner circle coaching members, that competitor analysis, quite honestly, is a, a game changer. Like, quite honestly, it is. It's not something everyone's doing, so it's crucial that you are taking the time to do it. Now, what's really great is the market basket analysis tool kind of takes one step away from you where they will find the person's listing that you should be looking at, right? That's what they're doing for you. They're telling you, hey, people are looking at your listing and purchasing from you and this person. So when you see that, what you should do is you can go ahead and do a competitor analysis and keep it basic, right? See what is their product doing? How can you improve your product from that? Um, you know, what is on their listing, right? What images do they have? What are they mentioning in their sales copy? What does their enhanced brand content look like? You can learn so much from them. So here's what I want you guys to always be thinking when you are doing these competitor analysis. You should be thinking, one, what are they doing well that I should be mimicking, right? It's okay to learn from your competitors. There's no shame in that. I am sure someone's doing it to you as well. So don't stress about that. Now, Go ahead and examine that. Think, how can I improve my listing to mimic what they're doing, right? Now, obviously, don't copy everything they're doing, right, from word for word. But get the idea and place it with your product, right? Now, another thing I want you to look at is what am I doing better than them, right? Because you are going to find those things. And I want you to not only think, yeah, I'm already beating them with that, but how can I make that better? How can I make sure I continue to improve on that aspect of my listing and make sure I am still beating them, right? And then I also just want you to look at just their customer experiences, right? What are their customers saying in the reviews? Do they like this aspect of the product? And if so, maybe that's something you should mention in your listing. Do they hate this aspect of the product? If so, maybe you should create an infographic to clear up any confusion that might be happening with the product. 
Now, competitor analysis really can go so many different ways, but I'm telling you, our team, what we focus on is the sales copy. We're looking at the title, the bullet points, the enhanced brand content, product descriptions. That's step one. We're looking at the images, seeing how can we recreate images? How can we replicate it so that it fits our brand and it fits our needs? Um, we're also looking at customer reviews. What are people saying? How can we make sure that there's no confusion on our end? All of that stuff. I want you guys to take a second to do that with this tool in consideration. Now, that's all I have for you when it comes to this market basket analysis tool. I'm really excited for you guys to jump into it. Can't wait to hear just your thoughts on the tool, how you've learned from the tool, and how you are applying it. Now, next week, we are going to have a Facebook Live again. And like I said, there's tons of things going on here at Turnkey and also just in Amazon in general. So I've got lots and lots to talk about with you guys. So I will be here next week, next Friday at 12.30, same time, Facebook Live. Thank you guys so much for hopping on. I really appreciate it, and I'll talk to you next week.